Hello, Cancer. This is your ex reading for the 17th through the 23rd. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what kind of relationship you guys had here. Hmm. I think it was one where, you know, you both of you were trying to do what you felt was right. Um, I feel. At least you are. Let's see. Yeah. Both of you were trying to do what you felt was right in the relationship, trying to work together, trying to take each other into consideration here. Um, there was room for growth, for sure, with you guys. Let's see how you view the relationship. Hmm. I get the sense that you feel like you, you know, you sacrificed yourself a whole lot for this relationship just to kind of keep the peace and make everything a-okay. You know, like, you know, you tried to smooth things over a lot and a lot of times, you know, you just did nothing. Like, you took all the blame or, you know, you just didn't say anything about what bothered you or anything like that just to try to keep the peace is what I'm getting here. Do you feel like it also um, was not going anywhere? Hmm. How they viewed the relationship was um, they, they felt like it was good. It's like, you, you know, I think this person was working on the relationship. They viewed it as something that, you know, could grow to the Ten of Pentacles, you know, that could be everything. And I think they felt like you guys were working together to make this happen. Um, I think they were truthful in the relationship. They felt like it was victorious. Um, but I think they did get the sense that you were holding a lot back here. And you probably were. Maybe you got the impression that this person um, would bite your head off if you um, said something that they felt like they didn't like or whatever. But, you know, you felt like it wasn't going anywhere. And I think is because um, you, you didn't really feel like you had a voice. It's what I'm getting here. But they felt like everything was fine. Although, I think them feeling like everything was fine was because, you know, you didn't have any complaints here. Or at least you, like, pushed it down. Let's see what your current situation is. Hmm. I think you are going into you're not feeling very good I don't I don't think um hmm I think you're holding yourself back a lot because I think this situation is still affecting you I think you're probably still like... You know, this whole situation is like a weight on your shoulder still. I think you're still very affected by this. Um, and I think this is something that you're kind of going around and around with. Like you'll, you'll start to feel better, but then you fall right back. Like you take one step forward and then you take two steps back. Um, it's like never ending for you. It's like you're stuck. You don't know how to move past this situation, I feel. Let's see what their current situation is. Hmm. I don't know if this person is married or not. They could be. Or in a relationship. But I think this is... This is this person... There's something that they do that involves speaking and teaching. Um, they may even be a professor, school teacher, where they work with, um, you know, lots of people, students, maybe an orator here. But they, I mean, this is somebody that helps people as well let's see what your 
perception of your ex is. Hmm. They broke your heart. You're very disappointed at how this turned out. You're very disappointed with them. Maybe they involved you in a three-party relationship. Maybe, maybe you did not know this person was married even. But you're heartbroken here. Hmm. Then we have two cards that came out for them and how they perceive you. Hmm. They feel like you guys get a lot of attention. But I think they too want attention. But I get that this person does not want attention from a lot of people, honestly. I think they just want your attention. And I'm not sure that you're willing to give that to them at this point because you're, you're still very heartbroken over this situation. I think this person really like needs attention though. It, it's like this is what I'm getting. That this person likes to be admired by people. They like for people to need them. And when they don't, or when they don't receive the attention that um, they feel like they should get, um, they get pissed about it. And they probably also take it out on you. I also get that this person may not be, not saying that this person is like, not physically attractive, but I feel like you guys may be more physically attractive than this person, or at least they view you like that. And they, they feel like right now that you're getting all of this attention and it's really, really freaking bothering them. Okay. They feel like people like get attracted to you, like with very little effort from you. Okay. So yeah. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together here. What are what's Cancer's feelings about getting back together here? I think you want to discuss whatever the hell happened here. Whatever position this person put you in, um, I think, you know, you're not budging. You're not trying to talk about getting back together. Let's talk about what you did. First and foremost, let's cut through the bullshit and let's talk about this because, you know, I held a lot back here. I held a lot back trying to keep this relationship together. And you walked all over me or you didn't tell me the truth. You didn't tell me the truth that you were married. Whatever the situation is for you guys. But you want to get to the bottom of, you know, what actually hurts you before you talk about anything else. Let's see what their feelings are about getting back together. Hmm. Hmm. I think this person is over right now, but I feel like this person thinks that if, if, you know, the relationship can change or the relationship can transform into something else, then... I think they will be willing, but I get the sense too that they feel like it will be too hard to change some things so you guys can be victorious. Like, you know, maybe it should just stay the way that it is. We'll just let it die because, you know, they feel like it's a burden to try to bring it back, you know, from where it's at right now to this victorious you know, situation, like it's, it's, it will be too hard. Maybe there's too much that's been done here. Scorpio energy. Let's see how you guys can improve this situation 
follow your heart, use your intuition, um, be upfront. Don't hide anything. Don't hold anything back. You know, if you get the opportunity to speak with this person, um, then you say exactly what's on your mind, what, what you're feeling here. Okay? Let's see what they can do. They need to communicate. They need to communicate and give you the truth that you're seeking or, you know, just communicate in general because you guys are not speaking apparently here. Okay, let's see what the potential outcome is for you guys. Hmm. I see you starting over. I see this person being very defensive. I see this person not trying to communicate. They're trying to keep themselves back from communicating. Um, yeah, because I think this person feels like they're right. And whatever it is that they've done, they are standing by that. And I feel like, you know, they're they're trying to keep themselves from communicating whatever it is that they truly want. If they want this new start with you, I think you're willing, but I think this has to be something that you can actually talk out and you guys can come to um, an agreement on here for sure. But I think that this person is is really like trying to keep themselves from communicating they really really are and I don't really think that they're seeing anybody currently they may have been married or they may have been involved in a relationship before but at this point I really don't see that they are or think that they are because you're very much on their mind but they're trying to like you know they they block communication and then the high priestess does not speak either. So you guys are not talking. I feel like um, my cancers are probably starting over here. Maybe a new earth sign has made an offer. But there's something that you guys are doing. I feel like that's going to bring you a windfall. Whether it's financial or, um, or whether it's a love offer here that you guys have received. Okay. But there's definitely something coming in for you guys in the future. Okay. But this person is being very stubborn and standoffish right now. All right, guys. And this is just for the 17th through the 23rd. So, you know, this can change. But for right now, yeah, they're very blocked off. 